Let me tell you what we're going to do today. We have constructed a mini election, uh, but Harry Hersey, as you have served as a technical advisor of how to do this, we're going to ask you to remain outside. After you, let me introduce you to my election staff. To ensure that we've not prepared some sort of a, a device that has been pre-rigged, pick the number and then we'll grab that unit and that will be the device that we will count the ballots on. I just feel like this is the one. Okay, and the winner is unit 15191. What we have here is a programmed optical scan ballot. Uh, there is only one question on this ballot. Can the votes on the Diebold system be hacked using the memory card? I have only touched the memory card, not the other parts of the Diebold election system, which is going to be used today. Only the memory card. And uh, I, I can certainly speak for myself and Harry and that we're going to vote yes. All right, then let's have the rest of us vote no. Okay. Two individuals, okay. Hugh and Harry, will be voting yes. The rest of us will be voting no. And then we'll scrutinize the ballots afterwards to ensure that that is indeed the mark. I will say that I'm wrong and Diebold is right. And I'm going to say uh, no, they cannot be hacked. It's impossible. So I'd vote no. I'm going to film myself voting. Excuse me. I'm going to mark this ballot no. Okay. Dr. Thompson? I am going to bar this ballot yes. I've seen some pretty concerning things. Well, it's down to you. You're the last voter, Harry. All right. I think it could be. So I vote for yes. You will be the second yes. All right. I am here is the memory card I have touched. Okay. Now, this is the only piece of Diebold equipment that you've used. That's correct. Well, thank you. Let me take your ballot in. <laughs> this card will go into this slot. The next activity that the election worker does on the morning of the election is turn the machine on, making it live to receive votes. When you do that, this machine will produce what is called a zero total tape. The machine is going through a self-test analysis, and then it will spontaneously turn on. This is Harry's card that is telling us that there are zero votes stored in the memory. Okay, let me get the ballots. Let's insert a yes ballot. We're going to put in another no. Seven. And the last no ballot, eight. Placing the ender card in this device and telling it to turn off its counting function and do its reporting function will now cause the voting machine to print out a tape reading the number of votes that it had just read. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh, oh no. What is it? What is it? Seven yes, one no. Oh, oh my god. Oh my gosh, let me see. Here's the tape. Seven people said it could be hacked. But and we put through six and two. Six, six no's no. and two, two yes. yes. Oh my gosh, do you know what this means? How do we know that Hari didn't just change the report and the votes themselves on the memory card are still correct? If that was the case, when they go into GEMS, the results would be different, isn't that right? I mean, the only way to know that is to read them into GEMS and to check the vote totals. Let's see what GEMS says. Should we do that? I think we should because I want to confirm mm -hmm. for my own analysis 
is this just a superficial? Correct. Right. That's a good. That's a good question. Words, did we just change the words on this paper? And we will upload this memory card. If I had not seen what was behind this, um, I'd have no reason not to. I would have certified this election as a true and accurate result of a vote. So, what does this mean for you? It makes me cry. I'm sorry, but it does. so many reasons. The reasons because there are people out there who are giving their lives to, sh to try to make our elections secure and they're being called conspiracy theorists and technophobes and these vendors are lying and saying that everything's all right and it's not all right. And I'm crying because heart it's a quote somebody that I know who said that our, it's as though our country is one country pretending to be another country. How can this be happening to our elections? This really does affect me. I, I don't know exactly how to describe what, what I saw here. Um, I think we, as election officials, need to be a little bit more demanding from the vendors as to the technical specifications of this equipment. The vendors are driving the process of voting technology in the United States. I would much rather, at this point, I think, focus on allowing citizens to select technology that satisfies their needs.